Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we shall resume uh, the way of writing a paragraph. Okay, um, what is a paragraph? We talked about, you know, uh, paragraph writing last lecture. Like we said, uh, we defined paragraph and uh, what is paragraph, what is the purpose of paragraphs, okay? And how could we write, uh, you know, paragraph? Uh, what is the topic sentence, the parts of the topic sentence, the supporting sentences, what are the, the kinds of the supporting sen sentence or sentences and the concluding sentence, okay? And we gave um, uh, examples and we explained them. But for now, we are talking about the unity or um, and the coherence of paragraph. How can we um, unify a paragraph? How can I make a paragraph more coherent? Okay, uh, by many processes. So well, now, for now, we all we're going to um, talk about the unity of paragraph. What is the model? Okay. So what is unity? Indeed, it is uh, an important element. It is an important element of, of a good paragraph. Okay. So it is an important element. Uh, element. Oh, oh, sorry, of a good paragraph. Okay. And it means that a paragraph discusses one and only one main idea. Okay, so when I write, for example, about uh, gold, uh, the whole paragraph is about gold, not silver. Okay, no other materials. Uh, when I write a paragraph about football, so there is no need to mention swimming or basketball or volleyball. Okay, when I my paragraph is about the advantage. Okay, of uh, e-learning, there is no need to write the disadvantages of the e-learning. Okay, so we, we talk about one main idea. So this is unity, and if you want to achieve unity, you have to include the information of your paragraph about the idea that you are talking about or writing, or writing about. Okay, so. Unity means that a paragraph discusses one and only one main idea from beginning to end. For example, if your paragraph is about ad the advantages of owning a compact car, discuss only that, the advantages of owning a compact car. There is no need to, to mention the disadvantages, okay? Because I'm talking about the on only the advantages of, of the compact car. Furthermore, uh, discuss only one advantage. Like for example, one advantage of a Kemba car is gas economy. Okay, if you begin to discuss another advantage, it starts a new paragraph. Sometimes it is impossible to discuss more than one aspect of the same idea in one paragraph. They are closely related to each other. So for now, we are going we are going uh, to have only paragraph. Okay, we are we we are going to come later to, to writing many paragraphs. I mean essay. Okay, so. Uh, this is the idea. If you want to focus on one idea, you have the whole sentences. The old sentences you write are, uh, you know, or they belong to one main idea. Okay. Otherwise, your paragraph will not be or will not have a unity. For example, um, you can discuss gas economy and low maintenance. Okay. Cost. So these are the advantages of combat car. Okay, and it's okay for now in the same paragraph because they are closely related. Okay, so we are going to see two uh, two uh, paragraphs. Okay, and we will see which one has unity. Okay, so the first one, uh, all these two paragraphs, okay, have the same topic, the same title, but we'll see. Which one has more unity than the other? Okay, the effects of color. Colors create biological reactions in our bodies. Okay, these reactions in turn can change our behavior. In one study, the prisoners were put in a pink room and they underwent a drastic and measurable decrease. And muscle strength and hostility within 2.7 seconds. Okay, in another study, uh, athletes needing short rates of energy 
okay, were exposed to red light. Their muscle uh, strength, okay, increased by 13.5%. And electrical activity in their arm muscles increased by 5.8%. Okay, so and athletes needing more endurance for longer performances responded best when exposed to blue to blue light. Other studies have shown that the color green is calming. Green is calming. Uh, green was a, a sacred color to the Egypt, Egyptians. Okay. Representing the hope and joy and joy of spring, uh, it's also a, a sacred, okay, sacred uh, color to Muslims. Many uh, mosques and religious temples throughout the world use green, the color of renewal and the growth, and the blue, the color of heaven, to balance heavenly peace with a special growth. To sum up, color influences us in many ways. Okay, so this is was written by Daniel. Let's see. Let's come to the other paragraph, which is the same. Uh, belongs to the same uh, title. Okay. Colors create biological reactions in our bodies. These reactions, in turn, can change our behavior. And when study, prisoners were put in a pink room. So all. Okay, uh, I'm repeating the same information. Uh, the study have shown after long. Uh, so all these sentences are uh, are repeated. Okay, at the previous par paragraph. So here we have new uh, sentences. After London's Black Friars Bridge was painted green. Okay. Um. The number of suicides decreased by three or four percent. Those and other studies clearly demonstrate that color affects that color affects not only our moods but our behavior as well. Okay, so now we we have read the two paragraphs and let us see which one has which one has you know unity or more unity than the other. Okay. So. If we come to the last sentences, okay, of the first paragraph and the last sentence of the second paragraph, the green was sacred color to the Egyptians. Nashini and she muqaddes, yani holy. Okay, so we are talking about the the effects of color. There is no need for the the religious, uh, you know, religious aspects. hope, spring. Okay, uh, to Muslims, many. Mu Moscows and religious temples throughout the world use green, okay, uh, etc. etc. So uh, they somehow uh, do not restrict uh, the writer does not restrict to to the main idea, which is the effect of of color, but also uh, add another ideas, which is uh, religious ideas, and hence this paragraph has no unity, is not unified. Why? Because uh, the topic discusses, uh, uh, the paragraph discusses two topics, which is the biological reactions caused by color, um, you know, that change our behavior, and religious significance of colors. And this is wrong. Why? Because a paragraph has to, um, has, should have one main topic, one main idea. Okay? So we are talking about the uh, biological reactions caused by color, not about the sig religious uh, significance of colors. So we this paragraph, the first paragraph has uh, no unity, while the second one has unity. Why? Because it's all, uh, the, the whole paragraph talks about one main idea, which is the biolog biological reactions of, of color, right? So this is the difference. We have to focus only on, on main idea when we write a paragraph. So this is the unity of paragraph. So for now, uh, 
let's uh, discuss uh, the second um, uh, feature of, of, of paragraph, which is coherence. 